So, we got it. We got a deal. <laughs> Jesse confirms we actually do have a deal now with the Senate package for the coronavirus relief. Um, last night, I, you know, for the days now, I've been just, like, I put on the, the live feed of the Senate floor, and whenever somebody gets up to talk, I turn over to it from whatever else I'm doing and listen to them talk. And, eh. and last night, it seemed like it was going to be delayed even longer. This time it seemed like it was going to be delayed because of the Republicans. And I was like, hmm. They came out and they started complaining about the, uh, the super boost to unemployment. $600 a week boost to unemployment benefits. And at first I was like, man, I don't give a shit. Fuck it. But then I started listening to them talk. And they were making their arguments, and I thought there was extreme justice in many of their arguments. Um, essentially, when you go on unemployment, you get like 60% of your pay given to you. This enhanced with $600, right, would give me like damn near $1,000 a week. And I started thinking about that going, well, that's like... Damn near three times what I make in a week. And I'm like, hmm. And there was another senator, the Democrat senator out there doing his counter argument. And he's like, I can't believe the Republicans are just saying that Americans are lazy. And I'm like, no. The problem in this case is that Americans are smart enough to think, well, if I go on unemployment for the duration of this and make damn near three times my fucking pay, that's just really good for me. However, if a whole lot of smart cookies decide to go this route, that means that a lot of businesses are going to lose a lot of employees. And that's a problem. Because as businesses lose employees, they're not able to stay open because they're not able to do business. If too many people decide to jump on the unemployment train to get this massive windfall of money, you're going to have a lot of companies losing employees, they're going to lose business, they're going to close. And, like, I can see the thought of well, I can go on unemployment for the three or four months that this is going to go on for, make a shit ton of money, and then when things recover, there's going to be a huge job market. I'll be able to go and get a job again. Well, if too many people do this, there isn't going to be a huge job market because there isn't going to be businesses hiring. That's an issue. So then you're going to have a lot of people that are going to still be out of work, still be on unemployment, when the big huge $600 a week boost gets cut, they're going to go back to 60% of their pay, which means that all that extra money is going to get ate up like that, and considering there's going to be way less people hiring because there's way less companies that are you know, going, that's going to be like a big picture problem. So, I don't know what's in the bill. Again, but we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it away from the fog of the controversy. So we'll find out what the fuck is in it when we find out what the fuck is in it. But I imagine that that's still in there. So, hopefully people will take the more common sense approach of, if I have a job, better to keep my job, continue to get paid at the rate that I'm at, and then when all this blows over, I'll still have a job, I'll still be getting paid my wage, I won't have to deal with, holy shit, there's no job market anymore. So, I don't know, 
it's one of those things where if you're looking at the short term smart choice you could wind up fucking yourself big time in the future so yeah there's smart and then there's really smart and hopefully people will just be smart I'm sorry people will be really smart and not just smart but yeah I don't know like it was the more they were talking about it the more I was like and their their desired fix was to make it to where you know the the super boost would top out at a hundred percent of your pay, so you would get your sixty percent plus up to a hundred percent on top of this one hundred sixty percent as opposed to like three hundred percent, right? And I like that. And the argument against that was. Well, the president has changed things with unemployment so much so that they can't figure it out. They said they can't figure out how to do that in their system. And I'm like, well, all right, you ever heard of a fucking piece of paper and a pen? Like, I imagine that's a lot of writing, but, you know, low techy tech can fill in a lot of gaps when high techy tech can't figure it the fuck out. So, like... Just get some motherfuckers crunching some numbers with some calculators or shit. Like, I, I, I don't know. Remember how your teachers used to tell you? What are you going to do? You're going to carry a calculator with you everywhere? Uh, yeah, bitch, I am. So get your fucking phones out. Figure it out. Like, I... But whatever. It, it, it... The Democrats want to just ruin everything they possibly can, no matter what it takes. And this is their new fucking effort, and it's all disguised as, I can't believe you guys think the American people are lazy, and, and you can't, and you just you want to keep fucking people because you'd rather give all this money to big business. I, I can't believe how little you fucking people know about economics and, and the intelligence of people in this country. Why are you assuming we think everybody's stupid? It would be smart to make three times your fucking wage to sit at home for months. Not ultimately smart at the end of the day, but people aren't going to think about that shit. People aren't going to think, well, if I quit my job to go on unemployment to make a lot of money, how many other people are doing the same fucking thing and how many businesses are going to go tits fucking up because they have no fucking employees? So, yeah, it's just one of those things, you think, think, don't let the fear, the panic, and, and everything else make you think that, oh shit, I got a great idea, because, oh shit, you might have a really fucking bad idea.